Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Zane and we've got a deal. But don't just sit there, angels. Come on, let's get busy. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? Now, let's put these teddies to bed. Put out a wee cover. Oh, and a wee pillow there. That's it. And we'll tuck them in nice and tight. What noises do people make when they're sleeping? <laughs> Does she go, That's funny, isn't it? But someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, yes, it's Bobby <laughs> with Kai. Bobby. Hi, Kai. Sorry. Oh, and Kai, my pickle. You have a wheel. Come on, Kai. Oh, hi, everyone. Wow, what's going on here? Well, we're having a bit of a quiet time. Oh, sorry. I mean, sorry. <laughs> Now, Kai's here will do something new. Why don't you dress Claude up like he's ready for bed? And I think I'll just tiptoe over there. Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, then. <laughs> so, what have you been doing today, lovey? Oh, well, I took Kai to the park and I tried to teach him how to do somersaults. Oh, that sounds like fun. Well, to tell you the truth, I was just trying to tire him out so that he'd be sleepy and he'd want to go to bed early. He's been a bit funny today. Oh, why? Well, he says he doesn't want me to be away from him tonight. And he isn't tired at all. <gasps> but I am. Oh, dear. So he doesn't want you to go to work? No. He just keeps asking me why. Why do you have to work, Mummy? Why can't you be with me tonight? Oh, I feel really bad about leaving him to go to work. Oh, don't worry, Bobby. He'll be fine. There are some things you just have to do. Oh, will you look at Claude? Oh, oh wow! Wow, Claude, you look all ready for bed. <laughs> oh, I wish I was going off to bed soon. Oh, oh don't look so sad, Kai. I've got to go to work. No, Mummy, stay here. Oh, Mummy's got to go to work, my darling, to earn money to buy things, eh? But why don't you phone Mummy on her mobile phone when it's bedtime? Oh, that's a great idea. OK, so I'll speak to you on the phone about nine o'clock, OK? Yeah. Oh, come in, give us a kiss. Mwah. Have a great time and I'll see you in the morning, OK? Come on. <laughs> there are some things you just have to do. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm running really late today. What's the quickest way for me to get to work? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a bus. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the bus lanes. Rolling, rolling, rolling down the road. Speed up! Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down! Rolling, rolling, rolling through the streets, I'm squeaking, squeaking to our stop! I'm in, 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 in a hurry! Hurry, hurry, hurry! But before I do anything, I need to change into my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go! No! This bus is filthy. God, and I'm so tired tonight. Seven o'clock. Hmm. I think I need a good strong cup of tea to get me going. Yes, that is exactly what I need. A nice cup of tea. Oh no! It's Kai's teddy. Mr Begby. Oh, no, I must have forgotten to leave him at Granny Murray's. Kai's going to be so upset when he finds out, isn't he, Mr Begbie? I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle, that's for me. Ooh. Well, we're all...
all ready to start our teddy bear's tea party. But we can't start without Mr Begbie, can we? Oh dear. Boys, can you go and have a wee look behind Granny Murray's cushions and see if he's there? All right, darling. Is he there? No. Come on then. Oh, Kai, do you need a wee cuddle? My angel. What has Mum done with Mr Begbie? Don't know. You, Mommy. Oh, poor Kai. It's all my fault I forgot to leave him his teddy. I'm just too tired to think straight. Evening, Bobby. Oh. Hello, Tina. What are you doing here? Well, I've come to ask you a favour. You see, Raymond and I are putting on this fantastic new show at the theatre. It's called The Tales of Timmy Duck. <laughs> so, we were hoping that you could show us some gymnastic tricks we could use in the show. I see. OK, no problem. We'll need my mat. Oh. I have just thought of a brilliant way to sort out Guy's daddy problem. One good turn deserves another. Right, OK, Tina. Oh, ready and waiting. OK. What shall I try first? I think we should start off with a cartwheel. Oh, lovely. OK, ready, <laughs> Easy, eh? Right, now then, I need to ask you... Yes, a Bobby, huge... you see, that was a wee bit tricky. Um, could you show me something a bit easier? How about hopping around a chair? Now you're talking. I could manage that, I think. All right, let's give it a go. Oh. One chair. Ready? Oh. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Perfect. That'll be in the show. <laughs> cool. OK, now I need to ask you a massive favour. Uh -huh. Please could you take Kai's teddy round to Granny Murray's for me? Of course. Why didn't you ask me before? Right, here he is. Mr Begbie. Oh. Kai can't sleep without him. Oh, I'll take him straight away. Come on, Mr Begbie. Bye, Bobby. <laughs> Bye, Tina. Thanks. You're a star. Bye. Phew. Thank goodness that's sorted out. Now I can get on with some good hard work. Bobby Boogie Woogie's as she cleans and mops the bosses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming buses, bye-bye soon. Cleaning while you're dreaming, making ready while you're in bed. Gleaming while you're sleeping, dawn by dawn. Lining up all shining, they'll be leaving for the day. Dazzle the day away Swing into the city looking pretty and radiant The hot cabs gleam, the paintwork shines A river sea double-decker looks so fine The driver she drives, collecting the fares Leaving then arriving, she will get you there This boss is stopping from picking up and putting down This boss is shining, it's the talk of the town And Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes. And Bobby walks the moon walk as she robs and wipes the windows. Dusting through the starlight at its sparkle as she goes. Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead. Well, that's made a good start. Time for a tea break, I think. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, I must remember that Kai's going to be calling me on my mobile at nine o'clock bedtime. Better make sure it's all charged up. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <sighs> oh, I wonder if Tina has arrived with Mr Begby yet. Kai is going to be so chuffed. <laughs> Tina's popped in and she's got a surprise for you. Your mum asked me to bring you something she thought you'd be wanting at bedtime. <sighs> wow! <Yeah. laughs> Happy now, my angel. Thanks for doing that, Tina. Glad to help. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> 
Come on, my darling boy. Oh, great boy, aren't you? Didn't I tell you Mum would sort everything out for you? Hmm? If you're as tired as me, Kai, you're going to sleep well tonight. Right. Nearly nine o'clock. Kai's going to be doing his goodnight phone call soon. Which means I've just got time to put my feet up for five minutes. and now I'm driving around the city. Oh, I should be back at the depot doing my work. <gasps> and worse than that, I've missed Kai's goodnight phone call. Oh, how have I managed to make such a mess of things? Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped off Kai at Granny Murray's and he helped dress up Claude ready for bed. Kai didn't want to be away from me tonight, but I had to go to work. So Granny Murray had an idea. Kai would call me on my mobile when it was his bedtime. At seven o'clock, I started cleaning the buses, but I was tired and decided to have a cup of tea to wake me up. But when I opened my bag, I found Mr Begbie, Kai's special teddy that he loves to cuddle at bedtime. I knew that Kai would be really upset. At eight o'clock, Tina popped in and I showed her some gymnastics to do in her new show. As a thank you, she promised to take Kai's teddy round to Granny Murray's. That meant I could get on with my work but I was so tired. At nine o'clock, I was fast asleep on the back of a bus. At 10 o'clock, I woke up and realized that I'd missed Kai's goodnight phone call and I was still on the back of the bus. Now remember, there are some things you just have to do. Yeah, there are some things that you just have to do. And right now, I've got to finish off my work, but I've got to say goodnight to Kai too. So that's it. I'll pop into Granny Murray's on my way back to the depot and I'll kiss Kai goodnight. Come on, it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? She know how to fix it. Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, she'll 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 be she'll get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat that clock before the time. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh, I'm really sorry that I missed Kai's phone call, Granny Murray. Oh, don't Worry, dumpling, you popping in more than makes up for it. Oh, well, as you said, there are some things that you just have to do. Mm hmm. Like get back to work. <gasps> oh, yes. I suppose I'd better get off and get a cab. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Kai. <sighs> Ooh. One missed call. Oh, that was Kai. Well, I might have missed his call, but I am so chuffed that I managed to kiss him goodnight instead. Oh, I wonder if he's all tucked up and fast asleep in his bed by now. Night-night, guys. Night-night, Mr. Pigby. I'm thinking of you, Mummy. Your mum's here, Kai. Hiya, Kai. Hello, Mummy. Oh, <laughs> you look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we sure have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thanks. 
clever boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. There are some things you just have to do. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on, you'd better be off. Come on, you. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right. Come on, Twinkle. Let's talk about our time away. <laughs> and I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, the children dressed up Claude so that he was all ready for bed. Kai was sad that his mum had to go to work. He didn't want to be away from her. So we had a good idea and decided that Kai should call Bobby on her mobile phone when it was his bedtime. Later, we were about to have a tea party, but we couldn't because Kai couldn't find his special teddy called Mr Begby. We tried looking everywhere, but Kai's teddy was nowhere to be seen. He wanted his mum and was really upset, but not for long. Tina arrived in her taxi and she brought along Mr Begby. Kai was much happier. At bedtime, Kai tried phoning Bobby on her mobile, but there was no answer. So Kai went to bed and cuddled his teddy instead. And then we had a surprise. Bobby popped in, specially to kiss Kai goodnight. He was so happy. He soon fell fast asleep. Do you like to cuddle up when you go to sleep? <laughs> Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie.